All right, we are on the play in match four of this league with Rug Delver. This hand could be a lot better, but we have a turn one visions to look for some threats. Um, that's not going to be great because we have to do it off of this island, but we get one uninhibited draw off of the scry. So I think we're going to go for it. Tarfire, pretty important for this hand because we look really bad against aggro right now. Denial Mana Leak, hopefully going to be good eventually. Mana Leak might actually be great almost immediately. Turn 2 Mana Leak, not necessarily bad. Do I want Visions? I definitely don't want the Steam Vents. Visions or nothing. I think I'd rather have nothing. I don't plan on casting Visions next turn. I'd rather go hold up Thought Scour and Mana Leak. Flooded Strand, Hallowed Fountain, Visions of the Opponent. Could be a blue-white deck, could be a Jeskai deck, could be a lot of decks. Not Adnaz. I don't believe Adnaz runs any fetches or shocks. Mandrills. We could slam that fetch. That's the second card. Thought Scour puts three more. I think I'd rather take this a little slower. Let's play this and pass. I like drawing Mandrills a lot more than Serum Visions, that's for sure. Another Visions, we could counter that. Do I want to counter that? This is going to protect Mandrills, let's not. We're probably better off holding on to that Denial, I think. Glacial Fortress, go. We are going to... Technically speaking, we might want to get the Steam Vents before we cast Thought Scour, because we might mill both of them. But we actually know one Steam Vents is on the bottom. So that's not really a problem at all. This way we get to find out if we found another Thought Scour, we would get the Steam Vents untapped. Whereas right now we're going to get it tapped. That land right there. No thank you. Let's grab probably a basic forest. Now, Glacial Fortress makes this look like blue-white, so we probably actually want to keep our basics in the deck. We do want a green source. I believe it's going to be a stomping ground. We don't need triple blue. Double red sounds better. We've got these. Might end up firing those off both in one turn. Stomping ground. We are going to pay shock. Let's keep, I kind of want to keep Snapcaster Mage in the graveyard, actually. Reason being, the opponent's main removal is going to be exiling effects, Path to Exile, Detention Sphere, the like. So getting a creature in the graveyard actually is going to be a lot harder than you would think against a control deck. Also, Blue-White is pretty unlikely to get creatures of their own into the bin, which means if we're talking about Tarmogoyf as opposed to Delirium, Traverse is why we would care about our graveyard. Creatures are going to be difficult to find in their graveyard. On the end step here, I could see firing off a Tarfire, but I don't think that's really what we want to do. Snap Visions, that's fine. We're going to let all of that happen. I'd rather have my counter magic for the spells that we care about. I might kill that Snapcaster Mage. Definitely want to save Dismember for Celestial Colonnade. However, do I want to tar fire a Snapcaster Mage? Mandrills is going to run it over regardlessly. Ah, <sighs> that might be worth it. Just for down the line. We'll only really care about this if they end up with two Snapcaster Mages, or maybe a Snapcaster Mage and a Vendillion click, something like that. Maybe a Gideon ally token to go with it, because if we're up against Jeskai, killing this is a much easier decision. You want to play around Lightning Bolt, that way Mandrills can attack easier. In this case, I feel like we almost just want to send a Bolt to their dome. <sighs> no, I'd rather save that for Gideons, Planeswalkers, and the like. Then again, we have Counter Magic. This is tough. I think I want to kill the Snapcaster Mage. I'm not sure if I like that. 
but I think I want to do it. Ooh, we're not going to cast that Tarmogoyf. We're going to play around Supreme Verdict. I do really want to cast that Tarmogoyf, though. Don't think we fire off that lightning bolt. Maybe we do. Huh. What are the chances that we need both pieces of counter magic? It's possible. They might have two paths. In which case, we untap, slam Goyf, and have the other piece of counter magic up. Does bolting here really change the clock? Not really. Then again, I want my counter magic up for next turn, so I think I'm going to do this. I'm not going to bother with uh, holding up burn spells for the Planeswalkers at this point because I have that counter magic. Delver of Secrets. I still don't think we play that. What do we got here? Vendillion Click. Do we counter that? They get to take a counter spell if we don't. I think that's probably worth leaking. Gideon is going to be a problem now that I... Well, Lightning Bolt doesn't deal with Gideon cleanly anyways, but that's besides the fact... If we, okay, not countering Vendillion Click to play around Gideon is a little silly because they could just take our Mana Leak if they want to try to land that Gideon. Here's the path. We can let that resolve and then play Delver and then go Goyf hold up Denial after or we can use the Denial now. I think I'm just going to cash this in. Get it while the getting's good. If we play Delver and hold on to the Stubborn Denial, we could end up in a spot where the opponent uh, just lets... A oh, I forgot about Jace. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot Jace was legal in this format. That might have been a mistake. Forgetting that Jace exists. All right, we're probably going to play into a Supreme Verdict now, but we probably don't have much choice but to play into a Supreme Verdict. I don't think. Maybe you let the path resolve, but we can't play around Jace anyways, even if we let that path resolve. So maybe you're supposed to let the Vendillion click go, but then they can start going at your counter magic anyways, and then they, then they path your dude, and you either use the other counter or you let that resolve. And then Stubborn Denial is worthless because your fatty's gone. So I don't think we could have actually played around this much better. Even if I was smart enough to remember that Jace is currently legal in the format. I think I'm just going to play a bunch of dudes. And if they have the verdict, they have the verdict. Don't think we're going to get too far not playing out our threats at this point. So I think that's just the best thing we can do. It's certainly not elegant. That's one card that's not a verdict. Oh, they can brainstorm looking for more. Forgot about that. That's definitely relevant. What do we got? Field of Ruin, sure. Let's grab a basic forest. That much is just fine. It's been a while since I played against blue-white. Granted, I don't think it's actually been that long in matches. Kind of funny that I forgot Jace the Mind Sculptor was legal in modern right now. Alright, then again... Gideon of the Trials is a serious pain for this deck, so it is what I was playing around. They're going to bounce Goyf. All right. Going to assume that means there is not a Supreme Verdict hanging around here. That's okay. You got it. That's going to get rid of Delver. Yup. Can't dismember Jace. Unfortunately, we could traverse here, get a Snapcaster Mage, but then we can't play either of these threats. So I think what we're going to do is Goyf hold up Thought Scour slash Dismember. Although Dismember is not really relevant in any way, shape, or form right now. It 
if they take out our steam vents, we're probably going to Thought Scour and then grab a basic mountain because I want red mana available. Casting lightning bolts is definitely a way that we can win this game, and it's probably our best way to win this game, in all honesty. They got basic island? Probably. Looks like it. Gideon of the Trials, sure. Which means they can probably just blank Tarmogoyf and start brainstorming with Jace. Yep. Cool. Field of Ruin, very nice with Brainstorm. Blue-White's a pretty good deck right now. I believe it was good, and then it was kind of mediocre at some point, and then it got good again, and then it got really good when Jace came out. Or maybe it didn't actually get that good and I'm just thinking Jace makes the deck really good. But the deck's pretty good. Alright, land. Nice, nice. Smells like... Okay, so one of our Snapcaster Mages is in the graveyard right now. Which means we can't go sn Traverse Snap Bolt, Traverse Snap Tarp Fire. Or I guess Bolt because we turned over one of these. We're definitely playing this. We can theoretically win... If we can pull off Snapcaster Mage and Savage Knuckleblade off of these two. Now, we should probably play around Cryptic Command, but it's not actually that big a deal. Since, well, I guess they get to counter draw. They're going to untap. I guess we'll fight them in their upkeep with the Snapcaster Mage. That's probably just how we have to do it. That way, at least they tap their mana on their turn. Snap, Caster Mage. Go to them. We're probably going to grab the Steam Vents. I believe it's still there. Steam Vents is still in the deck. Uh, we could attack to spite them, but that's probably not worth it. I want to keep Basics in the deck still because of Field of Ruin. Path to Exile, not as relevant right now. Sure, I like getting free lands off of Path, but Field of Ruin is actually going to take away our lands, and that's a lot more significant. Let's get this little guy down. We could kill their Jace, but I think I'd rather kill them. Or at least work towards killing them. That's of course if they allow it. They have two cards in hand. May be that there's a counter spell in there. I doubt they run that many cryptics, actually, but they probably have a few. There it is. All right, well, at least we made them tap that there. Can't deal with that. That's going to happen. Now we're in a real pickle. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. It's actually not that big a deal since this was getting locked down anyways. But having the Tarmogoyf in play would have been nice for when we have the eventual knuckle blade that way they can only lock down one of the threats they're gonna brainstorm did they brainstorm this to the top I think they did pretty sure last turn was a brainstorm yeah it, it wasn't a bounce turn they did do that on purpose I wonder they get they have to be playing at least one verdict right now right uh, okay, well, this is going to be very difficult to win. We probably already lost. Uh, okay, so they do still go below zero. We probably already lost. I kind of want to scoop so that they can't find anything else. Yeah, we're going to scoop. They have an overwhelming advantage at that point, and there's a colonnade on board. We're going to take some damage dealing with the colonnade. Gideon's slowly going to kill us while also preventing us from winning if we somehow find the bolt effects, and Jace is going to keep them stocked with answers. So that game did not go well. Let's see what we do against Blue-White. Where are you? Blue-White? Blue-White control. Fantastic. Revelry for the... I'm going to get there. Detention Sphere. Kind of funny how I named it and then saw it 
and then forgot what it was called. Deprive, I'm kind of iffy on, because I kind of want to cut counters and play a mid-range slog fest, but at the same time, I want to beat them on efficiency and run the counters. Vendillion click, it's a threat that also strips an answer. We're going to play two Blood Moons, because the blue-white control matchup is really interesting in that it becomes a bit of a land hate mirror where they're trying to blow up our lands and we're trying to make their lands irrelevant because they have man lands and stuff like that blood moon chances are won't actually color screw your blue white opponent but you might end up turning off colonnade field of ruin and cutting them off of verdict and cryptic command which is really good i think it's just these eight i want i'm a little iffy on the ee but it can take out Gideon of the Trials, blow up Detention Spheres. Really, you want it on three. Let's bring these in. What is bad? Curious Obsession. We're no longer running that. What did I replace it with? A Thought Scour. Am I boarding out any Thought Scours? Two of them so far. So let's start with three. And then we'll see about winging it after. One, two, three... Forked Bolt, Lightning Bolt. Don't want too many Bolt effects. We still want them, but they're not at their best. Roast and Dismember. Roast is very bad here. Dismember kind of gets replaced by Blood Moon in that it only really deals with uh, Colonnade. And I missed a card. Tarfire. Why am I boarding out a Tarfire? I guess delir getting Delirium easily isn't as important as the third damage to me. Maybe? I can kind of buy that. I want all the threats. Echoing Truth can bounce Planeswalkers, bounce Detention Sphere on their end step, so your guy can sneak in a hit. I kind of like this. I think we're going to run it. We will still be on the play. How is that hand? We can grab a Breeding Pool and cast Tarmogoyf. I'm going to keep it. We've got Bobble Scry with Thought Scour. Let's sort that just a touch more. Opponent keeps on seven. I'm pretty sure they mulled to six last time. Um, which land do we lead on? We already have Bobble Scry with this, but I do want to cast Thought Scour right away, so maybe we go with the island, but we might mill the breeding pool, and that would be catastrophic. They don't have hand disruption, but the only other th I guess we might. I screwed up. Well, they have a Glacial Fortress. We were supposed to look at our card so we could scry. That was a misclick. Well, we found the counter spell, which was the exact purpose of sequencing the bobble on our turn. Let's grab a Breeding Pool. And scour ourselves. We milled the forest, which is a very big deal. And we drew a lightning bolt, which no longer matters because we just found a Misty. We're going to slam Goyf here. Um, Maybe you're supposed to wait until next turn. We're not going to slam Goyf here. I should have played the Misty instead of the island. We're just going to say go. That was a mistake, but I think you're better off making that mistake than trying to make the mistake worth it and slamming the goif there when it's not advantageous to do so. We know they have at least one more land. Should have played the Misty because then we could get a Steam Vents tapped. Possibly Stomping Ground. Yeah, it would have been Stomping Ground. We could get Stomping Ground tapped. However, I'd rather miss out on that then try to go sunk cost fallacy and say that that somehow makes it worth it to play a tarmogoyf when the tarmogoyf just gets killed so now we have stubborn denial up for a path debatable that you should just grab the stomping ground and use that to cast the goyf so that you can you you can get your stomping ground and cast denial rest in peace that effectively shuts off Denial, so we're going to have to counter it. Steam Vents. 
Yes. We have four card types, so we might actually use the stomping ground. I just let that resolve. All right, so I'm just misclicking all over the place. We can bounce it with Echoing Truth, but it's really bad. All right. So I'm just apparently not paying attention. Ancestral Vision for the opponent. All right, are we going to bolt here? Probably not. Let's try to um unscrew this up. Revelry isn't going to do much. This is going to exile itself, but at least we can hit for one. At least Revelry is going to end up in the graveyard. So there's that. We can counter Jace. Kind of unfortunate that we lost the first one and then apparently... I just stopped paying attention in the second, but we will do what we can to try to come back from that. We're not out of it yet, so that's nice. If we slam Nux, we no longer have Denial Mana. Further made unfortunate by the fact that that opens us up to a Verdict. Playing out the Goyf, not even very good. Bolt doesn't grow the Goyf. We could traverse for a mountain. The forest is currently exiled because we scoured it away. I kind of want to just traverse for a mountain. Traverse is a long way out from being good again. If I countered this like a person who pays attention to things, we would have been okay. Alright, so we don't really have denial up. But we can bolt and do stuff. Kind of. This was a very winnable game if I didn't totally screw that up. Field of Ruin, our only green source. Yeah, that's pretty much to be expected. Which, if we didn't make that initial mistake with the, um, the Misty Rainforest, if we had thought for a second about not playing Goyfon 2 and realized that playing Goyfon 3 was better, we would already have a stomping ground. So a lot of compounding mistakes here. Jace can now resolve through a Stubborn Denial. Also, there's that, but we're going to bounce that, so that's fine. Since we don't have a green source, bouncing that is pretty much our only play. Search for Oskanta. We can counter that. That puts an enchantment in the bin, which actually seems very good for us. Bounce this. We're only going to get to connect once with that Goyf. Goyf comes back. Let's even do this. Use all of our mana. May as well be efficient. Knock them down to 8. Doesn't actually mean all that much. If slash when we find that green source, we have a hasty Nux. One more turn for the Ancestral Vision. Then again, they're already loaded with cards. Kind of interesting that they're not playing that much interaction. The rest in peace did definitely did a number on our Goyfs. Detention Sphere comes back down, takes Goyf again. I imagine they don't want to path that Delver unless it transforms. Then again, they might just not have it. Tarfire, yes please. Knock on wood, if we squeak by after all of those misplays, I'm going to be pretty ecstatic. Field of Ruin, do we want a tar fire here? Ah, it might be relevant. Well, they can't counter it right now. Then again, they know about the tar fire, but still. We don't have any more basics, so that's fine. They're going to draw three. Gas right back up. Let's get rid of that window. Actually notable, now that they took out our steam vents, we won't be able to go Nux plus Haste once we find that stomping ground. 
Gideon. That's going to stop Delver from being lethal. We still have Snapcaster Mage, Lightning Bolt, that good stuff. They do have Cryptic Mana up. Very relevant. Mana Leak, we're just going to pass the turn. Um, we're going to do that. It's not going to come back to bite us. So we may as well. Actually, they might have a Settled Wreckage. That could be relevant. Yeah, you probably don't want to attack there. Even to spite the opponent. I don't think there's that much to lose there. So it probably doesn't matter. We can't counter that because they have leak mana. But we're still going to go for it. Because that forces them to tap out of cryptic mana. Which means if we top deck, snapcaster mage, or a bolt here, it's good. So we are going to go for this leak. I don't think mana leak's getting much better here. So I'm totally down for going for it. They don't know about Nux. They actually don't know about the Goyf either. So either spell in our hand could be a bolt right now. Gideon. I forgot about Gideon. Echoing Truth is in the graveyard. So we need Snapcaster Mage. In we need a Lightning Bolt into Snapcaster Mage to bounce that Gideon. Then we're good. So we have outs. We are probably dead. One Snapcaster Mage is gone, one remains. What's here? We can get rid of these. We're probably dead, but we have outs. Can't cast those, let's move on. Once again, my own fault that we can't cast those. That's going to do us in pretty quickly. Gideon ought to help. They're just ticking up. That's interesting. Serum Visions, I'll play that. Gets us closer to that potential win. None of these are really what we want. So what we needed to do was think a little longer on turn 2 to realize before making a land drop that we don't want to play Goyf on 2. After that, we can grab our Stomping Ground, cast the Thought Scour on their end step. I think we had the Thought Scour this game. Bane Slayer Angel... Sure. Yeah, that's a win con. And we're officially dead. E.E. -E. We can play it on one. Well. We made a lot of mistakes there, but you know what? We also learned from them to a degree. Hopefully we learn from them to a greater degree for the future. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed that anyways, and I hope to see you in the next one.